Hey Kevin here with another Flippin' Dork Flips and Finds video where I show you different items I pick up either thrifting or garage selling or sometimes at retail stores and then I flip them online either on eBay or uh, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, places like that. The first two items here are some sales I had last night and this morning so let me show them to you. This first one is really good, okay? I showed this in a previous video, several videos back. This is a polo by Ralph Lauren brown suede leather jacket. Uh, when I shot that video, I didn't exactly know what to call it, so I was when I did research, I was just looking up suede jackets, and uh, they were they were going for anywhere from about fifty to seventy. So I figured it was probably in the fifty to sixty range. Paid nine dollars at Goodwill, so I picked it up because I knew it'd be a pretty good flip. But once I did more research, I realized that this is a moto jacket. So it's basically a motorcycle style jacket. I don't think you would really want to wear it. There's no protection in there, but it looks like one. Basically mint condition. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's really, really nice shape. So I knew it would be a good seller. I did eventually find one listed for over $100, so I got pretty excited. I decided to shoot for the moon. I listed it at $124.95 plus shipping. All right. I had some action on it, uh, a few people asking, some details on measurements, and then I had a guy in Canada that wanted to know how much it would cost to ship it to, I think it was Montreal, and uh, kind of going back and forth there, I guess it was too expensive or whatever, so I um, just had it kept up, I never changed my price or anything, and then uh, I eventually got someone that wanted it really bad and they paid the full asking price, so they paid $124.95 plus seven dollars and seventy cents shipping so in total they paid a hundred and thirty two sixty five so that was an awesome awesome sale and nine dollars and i was really pleased because i thought it might go for about sixty so it basically doubled what you what i even thought it was going to go for so that was really cool and the thing about really nice jackets they're hard or outerwear or anything like that is they're hard to find but they take the same amount of work as taking pictures of a shirt that's only going to make it eight dollars so if you can find ones like these and take your time it is totally worth it i'm going to start uh, messing a lot less with shirts only buy really good ones and start trying to find more like these because it is totally worth your time okay the next one is a really big sale this was a long term a very slow burner but it was totally worth it in the end um, let me show you this is a box full of original late 80s and early 90s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures plus accessories plus a little round kind of cookie tin looking thing it's a Christmas themed Ninja Turtle tin that had all the accessories in it and then also the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle van the original one and the um, Shredder Rocksteady Bebop kind of Cadillac looking convertible foot patrol cruiser or whatever they called it and uh, anyway these were yard sale finds, okay? Way back in September, there was kind of an end of the year uh, multi, uh, or not multifamily, it was a neighborhood yard sale at this really nice, fancy neighborhood that I didn't even know existed in town. It was behind this uh, golf course. It's just an area of town I'd never been to before. Found awesome stuff that day. That was one of my best days of garage selling I ever had. So I'm definitely going back there whenever they have more. Anyway, I was one of the first people to show up at this one yard sale and right out in the garage they had tons of really good stuff it was all high-end great brand names i mean these people spent good money they had a really nice brand new weight bench dirt cheap i think it was twenty dollars they had some dumbbells i picked up for 15. i flipped all those for like triple my money um there's something else there i bought i don't oh i i'll have to show us another video i bought a uh inflatable bounce house like a really big one that is for the consumers not like one you'd rent I paid 50 bucks for it and it sold for, it was either 300 or 325 bucks. But anyway, uh, in the garage, they had this um, metal rack and some of the shelves were just full of Ninja Turtles and there was just a piece of paper hanging there that said 50 cents each. I thought, whoa, that is cheap. I mean, at a bare minimum, these things got to be worth three, four dollars each, okay? So I was looking at them, I was trying to count them, but there was just so many. Um, I'll, if I haven't shown the picture, I'll throw it in now. It was, uh, I think it's about 50 of them. It might be a little more, a little less, but somewhere around 50 of these. And I just decided to throw them an offer, see what happens. I said, if I buy everything here and just get rid of them for you, would you take $15? And they said yes. So I got all the characters, the figures, and the little weapons on that for uh, 15 bucks. And then a couple weeks later, another yard sale, I bought the van and the little convertible cruiser for $2 each. So in total, I only had $19 in these. 
Okay, my plan all along was to sell them as one big lot. I looked into it and that is the way to do these old Ninja Turtles. If you can get a lot of them and get a lot of cars and accessories and maybe the sewer and all that, I mean, you can get big money for them. I mean, we're talking $500, $1,000 if you just have tons and tons of stuff. But with the amount I had and the quality of the vehicles, because they were missing parts and scratched up, I figured they would probably go somewhere between $200 and $250. So I listed them at 325, just shooting for the moon. Maybe someone out there wants them bad enough, they pay it. Or I could start getting best offers and get exactly what I wanted. I put my low end on the best offer at 225, so I had a $100 range. And over time, because I had it up for several months, and over time I gradually dropped my price till it went down to 250. I was willing to accept that to about 225 or 220, somewhere around there. And I had all kinds of people trying to buy them for $30, $50, $70, but all those were auto-declined. There was a couple that were like $165-ish I was kind of considering. And then I eventually had this guy within the last month in Argentina that wanted to uh, pick them up. But he wanted to pay under $200 and get free shipping. Now, I didn't realize at the time that uh, eBay has a global shipping program, which I've learned is very simple and inexpensive. Basically, if you charge free shipping, then you pay to have the item shipped to uh, Kentucky. And then from there, the international buyer pays the additional shipping and, and uh, whatever el all other fees are involved. If you charge shipping, then the buyer pays for you to send it to Kentucky and from Kentucky to wherever they are, plus all the other fees and all that kind of stuff. So that's a really great. I mean, Kentucky is not very far from where I live. So uh, the, I've sold a few things there and it was very reasonable. So I will definitely start doing that from now on. But anyway, I didn't know that till just yesterday, okay? I, I mean, I'd seen the program, I didn't know how it worked till yesterday. So I kept going back and forth, that guy in Argentina, it was going to be $90 to ship them there. So he was basically going to chop my money in half. I didn't want to do that. So I just kept declining and saying, hey, if you'd pay 275 290 so I could make about 200 which I think is what they're going to go for in the US, I am totally fine with that. I will send them to you. He didn't want to do it, it just didn't work out. I eventually, last night, someone offered me $230, okay? Now they are in California, I'm in the very middle of the Midwest, so it's gonna be about $40 to ship them there. So that drops it from 230 to 190, okay? Now I have 19 in them, we'll call it 20, that brings it down to uh, 170. And then there's probably some eBay and PayPal fees, I'm gonna say probably around $25 or so maybe 30 so that drops us down to what is that like 130 140 something like that pure profit so that's a really good flip on these toys they the old ninja turtles are definitely worth it or any lots even a whole bunch of gi joes maybe a whole bunch of he-man toys star wars whatever totally worth it okay so i just put them in this walmart box that i had it fits perfect i'll throw some of this in there to keep it nice and tight so it doesn't shift around and then i will just tape it up and ship it out today i'll also pack this up and ship it as well but before I do that, let me show you some really cool finds I picked up last night at Goodwill. All right, so while I was shooting that last segment, I had another sale, so let me show you. Got it in this box here, nice and lightweight. And it is this right here, this old Sony Walkman. This is the WM-EX102, really plain Jane looking tape player here, cassette player, but works really nice. I tested it, put fresh batteries in it, plugged in some headphones, sounded really good. Played tapes, it fast forward, it rewound. Um, the Mega Bass works on it. I've had this one sitting here forever, you might have noticed. Uh, this one looks a lot fancier. If it worked right, it would sell for even more money than this one, but this one's broke. So when I list it, which I haven't done yet, but I will list it as uh, broken for parts only, and maybe someone can repair it or use it or whatever. But anyway, this one I got at Salvation Army for $1.50. I bought it a long time ago and I just never listed it. But ends up, it was worth pretty good money, so about $18. I listed mine for $17.95, and it sold for full price. Now, it is with free shipping, and uh, it's in this box, lightweight. I think it's about 14 ounces. It's less than a pound, so it'll go first class. And to go all the way to California, it'll be $3.66. So when it's all said and done, after shipping, after purchase price, after the eBay and PayPal fees, I should probably make about... I don't know, 10 to $12, something like that. So not a super duper amazing sale, but not too bad, especially for something so small. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this packed up and shipped out. But uh, before I do that, let me show you the finds I picked up. All right, so I went to Goodwill last night just to kind of see if they had anything, and I found some pretty interesting things. It's a little bit of an experiment, 
but I think in the long run it'll probably be worth it, hopefully. And then after that I went to Ross and I found some really cool stuff too. So anyway, the very first thing I found at Goodwill, let me grab the bag here, is another rock band drum set. Okay? So this one's in really nice shape. The one I picked up in the other video was not in very good condition. I don't know if I want to sell these or not. These are for Xbox. They are the corded one, so I think it's a little bit older Xbox. But that's good. That means there's no dongle involved, no battery power, all that kind of stuff. At least I don't think so. I know it will just plug into the cord. So um, I looked it up. It does have the... Well, here, let me show you. It also comes with another Fender guitar, which is identical to the two I found last time, except this one has a sticker on it. I'll have to clean off. And again, this one is uh, corded because it's Xbox. Uh, it also comes with the microphone and it comes with the bass drum pedal okay but no little cymbal arm or cymbal looking things so uh, i bought this i'm going to part it out i think that's the way to do it the guitar i think is pr uh, oh by the way i paid 15 dollars for the whole for everything here okay so the guitar i'm gonna sell by itself i think it will probably go between 30 and 40 dollars shipped so, I mean, it's probably going to be about 10 bucks to ship somewhere. So, I'll probably make about mm, 20 to $30 on it, something like that. All right. The microphone, I looked into it. It's not worth that much money. They're selling for like, I don't know, 5 to maybe 8 or $9. Not very much. So, I, I don't know if I'll mess with it or not because after shipping it off and all that, I mean, it'll barely be worth it. And then the bass drum pedal should be worth it, though. I believe... Like the other one I found, this is probably in that 25, 30, maybe, maybe 35, something like that, dollars. This is not too heavy, um, should be able to go in a box real easy, and I can ship that out as well. So between the uh, guitar and this pedal, I should at least double or triple, probably, well, no, yeah, at least triple my money on them. Um, the other thing is I can possibly sell the pedal with the drum pad here, it's in great shape. Um, together, these are probably about $45 shipped. So, I mean, I don't know how hard these are to completely take apart or what size box it would take. I'll have to look a little further into that. So, um, by including the drums, I might make an additional $15 or so. So, I don't know if it's really worth it. I, I'll just have to see. I might just part them out or who knows, maybe if we have a yard sale, I could sell them for five or ten bucks, maybe someone will want them, then I'll make most of my money back. So anyway, that was a nice little um, uh, rock band uh, flip there, I guess. Okay. Now, I got a little experimental on this next find here. I think it'll be interesting. It might end up being a lot of work and not worth it, but I want to try it out. So, uh, I always look at the uh, toy plush bin at Goodwill. I'm always looking to try to find like that one plush that's worth you know 60 bucks and they only have it for a dollar. Just one day it's, it's gonna show up. They didn't have that, but they did have a whole bunch of brand new plushes from Target. If you ever go to Goodwill, you notice they buy a lot of um, outdated or, it's like clearance items that Target clearances out to uh, Goodwill and then they just slightly bump up the price. So it might be a, a $12 toy at Target. They're trying to sell it for like $3.99 and then they give it to Goodwill and then Goodwill sells it for a dollar. Okay, so that's basically what happened with these. So let me show you. All right, so these are two bags full of brand new plushes. They're almost all these um, bigger uh, Disney Zootopia plushes, okay? Brand new with tags. Uh, one thing they did do though is they ran a sharpie just barely over the barcode but that wipes off real easy with um, rubbing alcohol and then they have goodwill stickers on there so these bigger ones here i paid 99 cents there are uh, the big ones there's 18 of them so uh, with tax i paid or i mean with um not with tax but since they're 99 cents in total i paid 17.82 for the big ones and then there's also a bunch of these smaller ones. So this is Zootopia, but then they also have these like pixelized uh, Minnie Mouse and Buzz Lightyear. Again, same thing. They have the tags, um, some more the small Zootopias. So these, the small ones are only 59 cents. 
and there were, I, I believe it was 17 of them, so I paid 10.03 total. And uh, anyway, my plan, I don't know if I'm going to separate them, because the big ones, the majority of them are just singles, there's only one of each, but then some of them I have like four of each. So I don't know if I will just take a picture of each individual toy and then list them, you know, this one I have quantity of four available, this one's quantity of one. And uh, I looked them up and all these toys ranging from the small ones to the big ones are roughly like maybe six to eight dollars each up to a couple of them were going for almost 20 but really probably like that seven to fifteen dollar range so on average I'm gonna say that they're all maybe in that ten dollar eleven twelve somewhere around there so it's gonna be a lot of work to then ship them out and that's with free shipping they're all all lightweight so they're gonna be about I think the cheapest you can ship out now is around three dollars so on some of them I'd have four dollars in them if they sell for twelve so that's like eight dollar profit with fees you might make a little over what five bucks so I don't know if that's the way to do it or if I want to lot them maybe just put them all together as one big lot kind of like the Ninja Turtles and just say hey you know if you want to buy them put them in a store and resell them or whatever and to sell the whole thing I mean I only have uh, what twenty eight dollars in them maybe triple my money you know sell them for seventy eighty dollars and ship them out for whatever it costs or my uh, original idea which I might do is to divide them all up and then pull one of all of the Zootopias, all right, and then put them as a lot, all right, and then sell that. And then I probably had enough to do that maybe maybe two times I could I could divide them up. But anyway, I'm trying to I'm thinking of doing them in lots somehow. I don't know if I'll do them individually. So it could be a lot of work and maybe not worth it. I mean, I have at least 59 cents in each one. Some of them are a dollar each. I'm only gonna make in that four to maybe seven, eight dollars each if I sell them individually. So I might just try to just get rid of them quick as a big lot. So when I eventually figure out what I do with that, I will let you know how they end up selling. But I just thought that was kind of cool. It'll take a little work. I'll peel all the stickers. Got to wipe that little marker off the barcode. But it should be interesting. All right. So the next find was totally worth it. Uh, if you've seen in previous videos, um, here, let me grab one here. If you've seen in previous videos that I have been going to Ross and flipping some shoes. I've seen other people do it. Some people also sell clothes and they do really well. So I just wanted to get a feel for how that works. But uh, I've really only done shoes. And I would say 70% of them were probably not worth the time and effort. You know, I'll spend 40, 50, 60 dollars on a pair of shoes. I thought they were gonna sell for about 120-ish. And after it's all said and done, I might make like 30, 40 bucks, but they all fell through and I had to drop the price for only ended up making like maybe 15, 20 dollars. So it's you know a lot of money you risk to make maybe 15, 20 bucks. So a few times I would pick up shoes and they would be you know 30, 40 dollars and they sell for like 130, 140. And I made really good money, you know, sometimes 50, 60, 70 bucks. That's what happened last night. And they had three pairs of these, okay? So I've showed this type of shoe in other videos. These are Under Armour. They have those really odd. It looks like a mountain bike tire on the bottom. They're called wild, uh, wild Grippers. All right, they are like a hiking shoe. Normally they're low top, and they had the, um, well, different types of closures, but these are more like an army boot. Brand new condition, great men's sizes. I got three pairs, a size 10, a size 11, and a size 12. And uh, anyway, they had them, the bottom, like when you go to Ross, they write on the bottom 80, or they might write 35. So if a pair of shoes on the tag says 34.95, they'll write uh, 35 on the bottom. So these they were trying to sell for 80 bucks, but and you know what? The tag's not here anymore. Huh. I guess they took them off at the store. Anyway, they had them clearanced for 55.99 each. Now after taxes, I figured it out, and they are. Um, thought I wrote that down. Uh, no, well, I think it's $60.88 or something like that. So I basically have $61 in each pair. I paid a little over $180 for them. But the good news, all right, so when I did uh, some eBay completed listing searches on them, uh, or well, just eBay search, people had them listed for anywhere from $125 to $200. So they are like up in the hundreds of, you know, between like $100 and 
But when you look at completed listings, the ones that are selling are about 130, 140, somewhere around there. But I am totally fine with that. So if I spend 60, pay $10 to ship them, have another maybe $15 in fees, that's another 25 bucks, and I have 85 in them, and I can still sell them for like 140, that is a really good turnaround, okay? And I think these will sell really well. So I do have three pairs, so I'd imagine maybe the, I don't know, one or two of the sizes will go quick, and then the other pair will take a while, but that should be a really, really good sell. So if I do any more Ross flips, these are the kinds of flips I'm looking for. I'm not looking for the ones where I'm making maybe 15, 20 bucks. I want to make 50, 60, 70 dollars, maybe even a bottom line of 40, somewhere around there. So hopefully these will sell really well. And then again, like I said, I have two more pairs here, just different sizes. So really easy to take pictures of, put them in a the box, brand new condition. You don't have to worry about anything. So that should be a great sell when they go. So I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, other items boxed up and shipped out. So I'll stop the video here. If I sell any more stuff tonight or possibly tomorrow, I might add into the video if it's not too long already. So anyway, that was pretty good so far. All right, and then to top off the sales for the week, overnight I had one more sale. So I decided to go for it. I had an offer. And it's this jacket right here. This is a vintage 90s nylon windbreaker. The lighting today is not very good, so you may be hard to see, but it is olive green, like an army green with dark teal and black accents. I thought that the design was really cool and the uh, name tag, I thought the font was really cool so maybe it had a little, you know, oomph to it. The brand is Visor, V-I-Z-O-R. I looked them up and they were, I mean, they were selling but not like as good as a Nike or a Reebok or Adidas, Puma, all the, you know, really well-known brands. But I thought I'd try it out because in the past I had picked up a windbreaker that was like navy blue and then I think red, white, and blue, like a lighter blue, uh, kind of like this, different colored accents. And the brand was USA Olympics, made for JCPenney, so it's not like the super high-end thing. It's kind of a sort of a store brand. And that thing actually sold real, really well. I think it was almost $30 it sold for. And uh, anyway, this one here I picked up for $450. I listed it uh, for $24.95. Someone gave me an offer for $20, so I decided to take it. Now after I ship it, which would be about $4, and then there's some fees, uh, a couple of bucks, I'll probably make 10 to $12 maybe. So it's not like this amazing seller, but I just kind of want to experiment with it. I thought it was kind of cool, but I'll probably pass on them from now on. But it was in great shape. If I ever find more Nikes, Reeboks, Adidas especially, um, any three of those brands are going to be great sellers. If they're vintage and not too torn up, Especially if they have a spell out, you know, a huge Reebok across it, or Nike down here, or Adidas, maybe the huge tray foil in the back. Those are all worth really good money. So uh, anyway, nylon jackets can do well if it's a good brand, or if it's like this and then super nice shape, it will have some value, but the other ones are worth really good money. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. The weekend's about to start, and I'm sure the sales will pick up. I'm sure this video is probably getting a little long. But uh, anyway, if you like what I'm showing you, I'd really appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up, maybe left a comment. It'd be really cool if you could subscribe. And again, like always, thanks for checking it out.